What's going on, Dematha community? I'm Herb Lacey, a junior here at Dematha Catholic High School, and I'll be your anchor for today's DM Stags report. So it's really crazy how all of this just went down. It was March 12th. I'm on the bus with the lacrosse team, and we're about to go to our game against Bullis, and we got the first stay-at-home order. I knew the coronavirus was going around. I knew that it was big in Europe, and I knew that it was big in Asia. I just think that it was going to, I did not think it was going to be that big here in America, and I don't think anyone thought that. And... I guess that's how we got to where we are now. Um, I remember it extended to April 6th. That was the first time. And all of us are like, bet. No school. We still thought we were going to go on our spring trip, the lacrosse team, and everything was going to be good. We didn't know that that was going to be pretty much the last game of the season. And our junior, and whatever year you were, that season was just, the 2020 season was just taken away. And I'm sure for the baseball, golf, and tennis teams, they all felt the same. I'm sure teams around the country have felt the same. I don't know what's going to happen for the seniors. Our quarantine doesn't end until May 15th, and it may get extended again if the numbers aren't going down, and it looks like it'll be better for us to extend it to the summer with the quarantine. But I know for them, they're probably worried about what about our graduation that we've been waiting for? What about our prom that we've been waiting for all of our four years of high school? And that's just something that we're just going to have to continue to trust in the governors and the government and we're just going to have to get through this. Luckily, we we have, for us Christians, we have God on our side. And so we just have to continue to believe in what he's doing. But not to end on a dire note, because life still goes on. Today, April 23rd, is the NFL Draft Day. And that is an exciting thing for football fans, especially for the Dematha community. And we're going to talk about the Dematha community's impact on the NFL. What's going on, everybody? I'm Ryan Morrison, a junior here at DeMatha, and today I'll be giving you the sports package. So today is April 23rd, which makes it the official day for the NFL Draft, which I'm very excited for, um, mainly because I can't wait to see who the Ravens draft. Um, also, the Stags have two, mem- two members that might go really high in the draft, and that includes Chase Young, who's projected to go number two in the draft. So if the Redskins keep that pick, he'll be pretty local, which is good for him. And then also you got Anthony McFarlane. And he was actually hurt for most of the year, but he's still projected to go pretty, pretty high. And he is a running back, and he still racked up a lot of yards, where he combined for 508 yards and actually just two games, which is just insane. So um, back to Chase Young. He broke Ohio State's sack record. And all, and only like limited amount of games. He didn't play a couple of games, but he had 16 and a half sacks, which is Ohio State's most ever, which is which is saying a lot from Ohio State's legendary program. So actually, in the last three years, Demetha will have two number um, two um, players that have been picked in the top two. So basically, Mark Hill Fultz was picked number one in the draft, and Chase Young will be picked number two in the draft if that happens tonight. Um, that pretty much sums it up. I'm Ryan Morrison, and here is Jack Beachley with the next part. What's up, guys? My name is Jack Beachley. I'm a junior here at the Matha. So since the Matha was shut down, teachers have maintained excellence through the virtual classroom. Teachers have been assigning work based on what days we would normally have class, or eight day rotation, which is usually like what we got at school. Teachers like Mr. Murph, Miss Murphy, Miss Landersman, and Mr. Travers have been hosting Zoom classes for their students due to the Matha Cyber Day School we had throughout the year, which really helped us prepare for this. The teachers and the students both knew what to expect in school. Life has continued smoothly with teachers still administering work, homework, essays, quizzes, tests, everything like a normal school day. Um, we recently just had a Zoom meeting with our teacher, Mr. Puffett. It was just kind of a good time to just talk about stuff, get everything, just know where we're going with this project and everything. Um, the DeMatho Cross team, right before break happened, our defensive coordinator, Sean Calabres, uh, helped, had a whole bunch of seniors go to some family's house and help supply, supply them with mulch and help spread the mulch around the fire beds. Miss Doe's husband had a stroke last June and recently got home from around, around from the hospital last Christmas. Despite being done before quarantine, this act just shows another day the math of students being gentlemen and scholars in and out of school. So thank you. That's all I got. I'm Jack Beachley, a junior at the Matha.
Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ryan and Jack. I know that the Damatha community is quite excited to know that we have four people participating in the draft. We have Chase Young, Anthony McFarlane, Tino Ellis, and DeAndre Kelly. And I know that they probably came to the Matha with a dream. And it was just a dream. I'm sure they worked hard. No, I know they worked hard to get to where they are now. But to think that it just started with a dream and they worked their way up. And former coach Elijah Brooks helped them and got them into, along with their hard work, he got them into the Division One programs they're in. And from there, and with those great coaches, they, they're now prospects in the draft that is going to be happening today. That's just really exciting to know. Because as a student at DeMatha, I know that we're not just some school just pushing out athletes and we're not teaching them anything and they leave dumb. They, are, they have a good academic base and we are serious about teaching our students things and that's something that I truly appreciate. It's almost like whatever you're interested in, we have sports, band, academics, you're going to get well-rounded all the way. And that's, I don't feel like you can get that anywhere else. Now, to talk about a little bit more what Jack was talking about, when my assistant coach, Coach Calabrese, and those seniors went to go help the Doe family, they weren't looking for any recognition. She just sent Father James and Dr. McMahon an email thanking thanking us, thanking them, and therefore they sent it to our coach, and our coach sent it to us. And I just felt like that was something that should be recognized because that is, like Jack was saying, the Matha, our motto is gentlemen and scholars, and that's on and off the field and in and out of school. And I just feel like that's a prime example of that. And so I just want to commend them for that. Now, this segment is going to be coming to an end soon. And I just want to let you guys know, please stay home and stay safe. Follow the guidelines. I'm Herb Lacey, and this is today's Damatha Stacks Report.